Hi everybody, welcome to day four of our five day, five day sneak peek to what is Beachbody coaching. Uh, I am going to make this video pretty short today because uh, the last few videos, they've been about 10 minutes of your life and I don't want to take up too much of your time doing this. Uh, so I appreciate, if you followed along this far, I really do appreciate you and I hope that you are doing well in your day today and whatever it is that you do, I hope that you find some peace and happiness in your heart and that you're excited about things in your life. Um, the two things, just real quick, um, today is going to be me asking you what kinds of questions do you have about this business or, or are you having about coaching uh, I know I had mentioned, I think, in the first video on how coaching uh, differs from training. And so, and I don't think I went over that too much then, so I wanted to touch on this now. Uh, um, I did say that training uh, is more of you telling someone what to do. And coaching is, uh, it's a little deeper than that. Uh, and it's a little, uh, it's more on a broad spectrum when it comes to health and fitness because it's client based and client focused and so you are focusing on your customer or the person your friend your family member your teammate the person you are trying to help you as a coach you are focused on them and how you can help them and it helps you increase your listening skills it helps you to um, I think be more focused on your own behaviors and your the own uh, aspects of yourself that you need to work on to improve things and so it is a mutual journey um, and I wanted to make sure that that's very very clear because it's not coaching is not something that uh, anybody does it, it is you have to be willing to help people and I think that so the two things real fast that I wanted to go over is making the decision to become a coach and also how you get started. So making the decision is, I think, for me, the question that I ask myself every day uh, to help me to be a better coach and to help really drive home in my heart why I do this is that um, I say, how can I help people? And and I think that that is the same question you need to ask yourself if you're trying to make the decision to become a coach, especially a coach with Beachbody, is that, you know, how do you want to help people in, in your life? How would you like to be able to serve other people? How do you want to grow as a person? And what are you willing to sacrifice or what are you willing to do? What are you willing to invest uh, in order to be able to better serve those people, to be able to, to help them more. So uh, if you can ask yourself those things and you come up with uh, you know a good little list of the things that you are wanting to do uh, in your life and maybe they reflect uh, some answers that we will come up with will be, um, you want to help other people improve their their lives and help them feel better about themselves. Uh, you want to really uh, maybe educate, help people to learn about things and you want to get out there and you want to talk to people about things that you uh, are already learning on your own fitness journey. Um, those are some questions that are going to really help you to uh, figure out if this is right for you or not. Uh, I don't think that you should ever make this kind of decision lightly. A lot of people do make it lightly and uh, unfortunately either don't stay around long to fully take advantage of all of the things that Beach Body has to offer um, or they end up uh, maybe uh, having a sponsoring coach that uh, was just out to sell them something and didn't really want to help them improve their lives. Um, and so 
I think that uh, if you if you ask yourself lots of questions before you do this and reach out to your sponsoring coach, whoever that may be, uh, if I'm not your sponsoring coach and you would uh, like for me to be, uh, go ahead and either shoot me a text, send me a personal message, uh, leave a comment in the, the section below um, saying how do I get started uh, and I can give you some more information about that you can also shoot me an email at Lisa Howard at Lisa Howard performance and coaching .com. and uh, the very last thing that I wanted to go over is uh, you know how how you get started so if you're <laughs> if you're wanting to get started you can there's lots of different ways you can get going you can get going just simply by paying the sign-on fee and getting going with that uh, you can also uh, save money by ordering a challenge pack and getting started that way uh, another way that you can get started is simply by um, taking advantage of all of the free challenge groups that a lot of, of us as coaches have going uh, i run many many groups uh, free groups every month uh, as well as a, a group where you would be required to have a program or a product that you're using. Um, but I think that that is the best way for you to get started is if you've never used a program or product before, so it's kind of harder for you to see if this is right for you as a business, uh, I think that's the most effective way to get started. Um, and if you have any questions, again, like I said before, go ahead and post those in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you. Thanks. Bye.